It's that time of year again, Metal Month, when Rhino turns its attention to all things big, brutal, and most of all, loud. All right, wait a minute. Turn off the pyro. Does metal always have to be flames and explosions and massive demonic beasts taking over the world? In a word, no. Much like hip hop, metal has grown, evolved, and even mutated over the years, spinning out into myriad subgenres and ways of creating and delivering heavy sounds to the hungry masses. On one end, we have godfathers like Metallica, who are set to deliver the band's 11th studio album, 72 Seasons, in April. We also have acts like Baltimore Hardcore Heroes and Grammy nominees Turnstile, who make heavy music that's also self-reflective, life-affirming, and comes with a pink plushy bear. Thank you for letting me see myself. Shout out Los Angeles Black Power Violence Outfit Zulu, who are creating heavy music that's just as revolutionary as it is brutal, bridging the gap between Curtis Mayfield and Bad Brains. So let's try this again. I'm Scott T. Sterling, and this is The Rhino Report. Metal Month 2023 is alive, and Rhino is ready to turn the amps up to 11 and feed the beast with a slew of heavy metal thunder to rock your a The godfathers of all thing heavy, Black Sabbath, are celebrating 40 years of the album Born Again this year. It's the one and only Sabbath album to feature Deep Purple legend Ian Gillen on lead vocals. Gillen made the recording process memorable by living in a giant tent, complete with kitchen and bedroom area, that the singer set up on the lawn outside of the stately manor studio where the album was recorded. The record is also notable for being the last to feature original Sabbath drummer Bill Ward. This year also marks the 40th anniversary of Black Sabbath's very first official live album, Live Evil. Released in January 1983, Live Evil captures the band in concert during the 1982 tour featuring Ronnie James Dio on lead vocal. Pantera fans, the Texas metal legends are celebrating the band's first tour of Japan in over 20 years by releasing some of Pantera's most iconic music videos with 4K upgrades. We can't give away too much just yet, but the details will be coming down very soon. Now Pantera, the hardcore legends and creators of the power groove, redefined all things metal when they exploded out of Arlington, Texas, with instantly classic albums, Cowboys from Hell, and of course, the almighty, vulgar display of power. What's your favorite Pantera video that you'd most want to see get the 4K upgrade? Also getting cranked up for Metal Month 2023, Type O Negative. Two of the band's biggest albums celebrate major anniversaries this year. Third studio LP, Bloody Kisses, turns 30 in August. And sixth album, Life Is Killing Me, celebrates 20 years in June. Led by the late singer Peter Steele, who towered over the world at six feet eight inches tall, Type O Negative was famous for the dark comedy of such tracks as Black Number no. One, Little Miss Scarrell, and creating a tsunami of controversy in their wake for the band's often sardonic approach to extremely grim subject matter. That's not all. Tune into Rhino's YouTube channel every Wednesday at 1 p.m. Eastern time for Metal March listening parties. That's where you and fellow metal maniacs can rock out to classic LPs front to back at the same damn time. And because we here at Rhino have nothing but love for our metal maniacs, the Rhino Report is giving all of y'all 15% off our metal catalog from Black Sabbath, from Pantera, from Dio, Sepultura, and those granddads of the whole scene. Metallica. Just plug in the code METAL23 at checkout and watch the magic happen and the price go down. We're giving you 15% off our entire metal catalog. Show some of that love back. Like and subscribe right here. Will we be here next week? Signs point to yes.